Here's up for the last video of favorites. So in this video, I'm going to talk about my top five graphic novels that I read in 2017 with one little honorable mention. My honorable mention goes to The Gigantic Beard That Was Evil by Stephen Collins. I really like this book because of its commentary. It had really interesting social commentary in the ways that we view outsiders of our cultural communities. It has really wonderful black and white illustrations. Just one that made me think a lot of what we think about people that don't fit in, what we think about art, and what we think about voyeurism and how we view other people's lives, whether they want us to or not. So overall, I really enjoyed this one. Number five on my list is Mouse. I finally got to Mouse this year. It's a classic graphic memoir that is kind of like you need to read if you're into graphic novels and memoirs. I understand really what this did to the genre. I really loved the symbolism that was used. I really loved how a son who has kind of a complicated relationship with his father who went through the holocaust how he deals with his father and how he talks to his father and how he begins to learn more about his father's time in that situation and how he got out of it. For me, it was just great to hear somebody else's perspective on this. I've read many accounts, but it's always good to just open up your mind to just another account from World War II. Number four on my list is Goldie Vance. Goldie Vance for me was just a fun, light mystery, and I love that it had different characters from what I'm used to reading. I also love that the main character is biracial and that we are getting to know about her parents and her parents are divorced too so that is interesting. I love that it's set in Florida and I love that it's set in a hotel so a lovely book if you like Nancy Drew style slash Veronica Mars mysteries. Number three on my list is Jonesy and I read a volume one this year. I still have to catch up on volume two but this was also just a light-hearted read and one that had me giggling and smiling just because I felt like I really understood the main character and all the pop culture references that were given to us. Boy bands, zines, you know, Tumblr-like blogs. These are all things that I understand from the main character and I loved her relationship with her father as well as her relationship with friends and people in her school. It's kind of like a frenemy turns into friend kind of story. I also really loved the strange and spunky features of the characters and the way that the illustrations are done. It was just a lovely, lovely book if you want to have a big smile on your face. Number two on my list is The 100 Nights of Hero by Isabel Greenberg. I love this graphic novel for what it has to say about stories and how important stories are to us. Also, what it did to bring these two women together set out against these conniving men that were trying to take advantage of them and how they outsmarted them using stories and thinking ahead. I also really love the illustrations in this one. A lot of fairy tale influence in this story. And last but not least, I loved Something New by Lucy Nicely. This is her biggest work, I feel like, and also the one that I felt gave us way more personality and deep thought and analysis into her own psychology and what she was going through while she was planning her wedding. I'm really a big fan of her doodles and her, the way that she draws. They're very cutesy, and I also just loved hearing about her romance and her her story of getting together with her husband, all the difficulties in planning a wedding, how she incorporated her own style and brought in her own talents, artistic talents into it, and also what the wedding meant to her, her husband, and her family. I think it gave us an insight into both the great and the not so great about weddings, um, but definitely very cute and focused more on the great. And I'm excited about her new book because it'll probably be about her baby. That is it for my favorite graphic novels slash memoirs of the year. If you would like to read any of these or if you have read any of these and you've liked them, let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.